Let's add a custom creative mode tab. All right, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom creative mode tab to the game. Now, this is once again a fairly straightforward process. So in our item package, we're going to right click new Java class called the mod creative mode tab. And inside of here, we're going to make a new public static final creative mode tab called tutorial underscore tab. And this is going to be equal to a new creative mode tab. And you can see we're already getting this suggested here for us. So I'm just going to press the tab key and then it will basically generate something for us. Now, right here at the closing early bracket, we need to end this with a semicolon. And then inside of the parentheses here, we have to put in a label. Let's call this the tutorial tab. Once again, label here, right here, that generates automatically by IntelliJ. So you don't have to type this out just putting in the string tutorial tab. And then here for the item, we're going to return a new item stack of mod items dot citrine dot get. And this is our creative mode tab done. And it would already be in game, but we wouldn't have any items in that. If you want to have a second and third tab, you can basically just copy this over, just making sure that this is named differently. And then you have a second one. So that's actually how easy it is. Also make sure that the label is different. It's actually very important. That's basically a second one. Now we have to go into our mod items class and change the creative mode tab here to go to the mod creative mode tab dot tutorial tab. I'm just going to copy this over and paste this in here. And I'm going to also delete the import that we no longer need. And there you go. Now our two items are in the creative mode tab already. Now let's also go into the mod blocks class. And we can basically do the following. We can basically select this, press control R, and then I'm just going to paste it in here. And then we're going to say replace all. Now we won't have the import at the moment. So just click on this, alt and enter to import. And then it should have changed everywhere where it is relevant. And now all the items as well as all of the blocks should be in our custom creative mode tab. Now, when we hover over this, we want the tutorial tab to also, well, have a proper name. So the way to do this is we're going to go into the en underscore u as a JSON file once more. And we're going to say item group dot tutorial tab colon. And then this is just going to be tutorial mod. That's going to be fine. So item group in this case with a capital G. I'm not 100% sure why that is the case, but it just is what it is. And then dot tutorial tab. So tutorial tab is the name that we've given here, the label. And then here, the label is basically the same thing. Well, that's basically the translation. And I mean, that's actually all that we need to do to add our own custom creative mode tab. So let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft. And if I open the inventory, you can see we already have a second page, which is exactly good. That's a good sign. And you can see tutorial mod. And there it is. All of our items and blocks are in the tutorial mod tab right here with the, well, basically the icon that we have specified everything working exactly how we would expect it to. And that's actually already it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new and I'll see you in the next tutorial. So yeah.